It has been an honor to be here tonight with so many wonderful and experienced teachers, including my circle of trust, my colleagues, my very fabulous principal, Mrs. Booth, the superintendent and the board members, and my team at Table 26, my family and friends who are here tonight to help support me. You are all the best. I love going to school every day, and I feel truly lucky to spend each day with children who constantly amaze me with their sparkling personalities and their abilities to learn. I want to share just a couple values that I have taught my students over the last eight years. I will also share my student responses in their own words. I'm a very tough teacher and often the mean teacher when it comes to academics. However, I teach responsibility and respect. My students have responded many times by saying several things, some of which are, Ms. K, you're like a spy. You always catch me if I slip up, but why do I always have to do the right thing? Ms. K makes us practice giving compliments, even though sometimes they're kind of hard to give and I don't really want to. Ms. K helps everyone who has problems. She even makes the kids that fight practice being nice. If you are tardy, Ms. K will also be your alarm clock because she will call you at 7.30 every day if that's what it takes. As a teacher, I have very high expectations because I want my students to learn and I want them to go to college. Some direct quotes from my students are, Ms. K, can I please stay after school? I don't want to go home. My house is too noisy. <laughs> it's too noisy and I'm afraid that I won't get anything done with everyone yelling. Um, Ms. K, do I really have to do all of this? It's kind of a lot, and it might take me forever. <laughs> Ms. K makes us smarter, but not nerdy, so I'm not really afraid to be smart. My students come ready to learn despite the hardships at home, language barriers, and circumstances that many of us in this room might never endure in our lifetime. It is my responsibility to do everything I can to make sure that they know that I care about them. This includes doing many things after the bell rings. It includes coaching soccer, implementing the science fair, and encouraging students and teachers to complete the projects. It also includes being student council advisor, tutoring after school and before school, hosting monthly events like our Gator Idol ta talent show, helping my students with their future singing careers. It also means going to science camp and taking many people at my table with me, sleeping in a room with 60 kids, not sleeping, and also sleeping on a bunk bed. My students know that the goal in sixth grade is not simply passing a test, but becoming a good, solid person, and most import importantly, going to college. Throughout the year, I often tell my students that they are going to college. I often ask, where are we going? And my students repeat out loud, college. Where are we going? College. So to make sure you're all listening, where are all of our kids going? College. Good. Teachers have the opportunity to put a smile on a child's face every day, to teach them to read, write, and to make memories for children, which is what is truly important. When a child gains confidence, learns respect, or makes their parents proud of them, these are the true rewards and awards that a good teacher has. I often say, you only live once. So make sure you make it count. Life is full of choices, I know. I have chosen wisely because it is an incredible feeling to truly love what I do every day and have students like Lene come up here and tell me how amazing I guess I am. And I just wanted to say thank you all for being here and receiving the Roblet District Teacher of the Year Award is quite an honor. Thank you.